What's up, interweb? This is your boy 100. I'm back with another video. If you ain't done so already, go check out me and the gang at IntroMediaGaming.com. Let me get with this video. PlayStation 4 hat again. PlayStation 4 has been hacked to run Pokemon and possibly SteamOS. Hackers have successfully managed to run Linux on the PlayStation 4 and play Game Boy Advance versions of Pokemon on the console. Recently, another hacker was able to jailbreak the PlayStation 4 and run a third-party homebrew app on the console. Looking like Sony's gaming console isn't that secure after all. The, Lin <clears throat> the Linux on the PlayStation 4 hack was demonstrated by the group Fail Overflow during a console hacking summit in 2015. The PlayStation 4 uses the Sony Orbs OS, <clears throat> which is sourced based on FreeBSD, a Unix um, operating system. The team used this to their advantage and found an exploit that allows the Linux to run on the PlayStation 4. And you're like, damn, how's the most powerful console in the most sold console get hacked like this. It's incredible. But people bash certain Xbox YouTubers when they say we don't know what's in this XB1. But you got the most powerful console. It been hacked in Brazil earlier last year. Person got a thumb drive, shoved that motherfucker in. Loaded a shitload of games. They were selling PlayStation 4s with 25 games already installed. And you was able to play it online. So, Sony fans, are you safe with your information on this shit? Because this article saying hackers is exploiting the PlayStation 4 like it ain't shit. It's... And then you're like, where's SteamOS come from? No, it's not a partnership with SteamOS. Um, the hackers actually has tapped into all the eight cores by using their version of Linux. And only thing they haven't did SteamOS because they're looking into getting into the, the graphics card. And I think it's a Radeon, I forgot, graphics card that's in the PlayStation 4. And it has a 3D accelerator. They're looking for people to hack that 3D accelerator. Then SteamOS has a version on Linux. And then you'll be able to play Steam games that you own on your Linux machine already if you run Linux or you bought from the Steam account on, on your Steam account and play it on your PlayStation 4. There's no need to go get a Steam box because you can go get the Andy Station, hack it, and possibly have the best of both worlds. You'll have more games to play, but it's incredible. They actually put an eliminator on that bad boy that's Sony actually trying to sell you guys with the PlayStation 2 games that the eliminator is always free. And they was playing Pokemon on a PlayStation 4 using a Game Boy Advance eliminator. That's fucking sick right there. That's crazy. Honey, are you going to do it? Yes, I'm going to do it. I have a PlayStation 4. I don't play that shit. I'm about to dust that motherfucker off soon as I they is available with Steam OS. I will be jailbreaking my PlayStation 4 and putting Steam OS on that motherfucker and playing Steam games right in front of my TV. That is crazy. That is crazy. But people talk about the XB1 and all this other stuff. The PlayStation 4 is not secure. Take your credit card information off that motherfucker. They service this dog shit. It goes down for maintenance. We got hackers putting Linux on the PlayStation 4. 
Y'all comment below. Y'all read them articles below. Because I ain't making this shit up. You know. Woo. I, I want to do the hack right now. And just play Pokemon on that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, go check out me and the gang at IntroMediaGaming.com. You know, keep your motherfucking credit card information off that motherfucking indie station. And go get the best box, the Xbox. Motherfucker!